Emergency crews have been kept busy with six fires in the past 36 hours, four of which have been deemed suspicious. It is very concerning to all of us, right? I mean, it is our community and we do take a lot of pride in it as everyone does. Three fires were started on Sunday morning near the Capri Centre and are believed to be the work of an arsonist. The garbage on the outside of the house was uh, potentially uh, where the fire started. As we knocked that down and uh, started to release our crews, we got the secondary shed fire two blocks over. So we had two responding engines and myself respond to that. Uh, luckily, that didn't get into the cedars, so no exposure really there, but it was very close. The shed itself was a complete write-off. And then there was another fire uh, further uh, towards the Capri area by a fence and some bark mulch. At about 7 a.m. on Sunday, a stranger set fire to a home while a family was inside sleeping. This is where my family lives. This is, this is right underneath my son's room. So, yeah, it's, it's a little, it, it, it shakes you. The suspect then stole a pickup truck and crashed it into a fence. Two more fires were ignited on a Monday morning, the first being near the Four Point Sheridan after a vehicle collided into a pole very, very fortunate the post was there because otherwise the van was a complete write-off. Happy that uh, crews managed to keep it away from the building. The lady was pulled out uh, by RCMP. Uh, lucky they were in the area and managed to get her out. Then at 5, 10 a.m., another call came in for the Blue Heights industrial area. On arrival, we had 20-foot flames coming from the center of the building. Third alarm was called by myself uh, in order to initiate all units to the scene. The building is a complete loss, unfortunately. There were four businesses in that building. Managed to keep it going to any um, exposure structures. A long few days here, but uh, fortunately, crews have done a fabulous job. I can't say enough great things. RCMP are currently investigating the four suspicious fires that were set on Sunday. For Castanet News, I'm Elena Kelly in Kelowna. Thank you.